what an incredibly frustrating game. Now, actually, that game pissed me off. I'm not going to lie to you. Whether it was the officiating, which, my God, that's not the main reason he lost this game. And I'm the last person that you hear making excuses about officiating. But in the first half, you had Caleb Martin get smacked on the arm on a fast break. You had Terry Rozier get smacked across the face. No call. And then Kyle Lowry was fouled by Caleb Martin, who was laying on the ground, who didn't even touch him. In that fourth quarter, you had an obvious eight-second violation that wasn't called. You had Jaime Jaquez get smacked across the arm. My God, was that officiating terrible. And then if it wasn't the officiating that was pissing me off, it was Kyle goddamn Lowry. Out of all the people, Kyle Lowry. I swear, I never came so close to punching a hole in the wall than when Kyle Lowry had that ugly-ass scoop layup that somehow dropped in. That guy sucks. Kyle Lowry is ass. I don't care what anyone says. He's terrible. Dude was so slow, he couldn't even catch a ball that was coming right to his hands and somehow ended up diving over the scorer's table. And Eric Reed, oh, that's not fake toughness. By no, that is fake toughness. That's all for show. He sucks. He has no heart whatsoever. The man didn't want to sacrifice with Miami to come off the bench. The man thought he was still a starter uh, quality player in this league. He's not. He's ass. Unless he's playing the Miami Heat, I guess. Tonight, Kyle Lowry finished with... 16 points, 6 to 12 shooting. Game's not even technically over, by the way. There's like eight seconds left. They're playing the foul game. Buddy Hill just hit two. I don't even care about that anymore. And then let let me not even act like this wasn't the Heat's fault. We talked about the officiating Kyle Lowry, which was very frustrating, yes. But this Heat team, this Heat team is the reason that I'm the most annoyed tonight. In that third quarter, forgetting how to play basketball again, how do you keep doing that? They looked incompetent out there unforced turnovers speeding down after every rebound losing the ball out your hands without without even getting touched missing every single open shot a lot of that was Caleb Martin he sucked tonight he was terrible tonight I don't care that he had that cute little and one and put back dunk in the fourth quarter he was awful Caleb Martin tonight finished let me see what he finished with 13 points 6 of 14 shooting 1 of 6 from 3 the numbers won't tell you Caleb Martin was awful tonight looked like an incompetent basketball player out there as well as the, the rest of the Miami Heat in that third quarter. For, and, and that's all she wrote, right? They got outscored like 15-2 to two to start that third quarter. Was down 12 in the fourth quarter. And then what do you know? They start to make a little bit of a comeback. Terry Rozier gets high, hits a couple of threes. They get a couple of steals. Terry, uh, Terry Rozier, Caleb Martin, Patty Mills even hits a giant three. And then they stop playing defense. Buddy Hill, one of the greatest shooters in NBA history. Wide open. Tyrese Maxey, oh, he got 30 points. Let's leave him open again. Kyle Lowry, we know he sucks, but he's still 40% from three this year. Let's leave him open. Meanwhile, what's the shots that the Miami Heat are selling for? Jaime Hawkins fadeaways. Jaime Hawkins contested three-pointers. Jaime Hawkins is one of my favorite players in the entire league. He was ass tonight. He was terrible. You can't have these kind of games. To be honest, everybody on the Heat tonight was ass except for Bam and Abao. And you can't have these kind of games tonight when you're playing for positioning. We're about to be in April. Philadelphia is a half a game ahead of us. Right now, you're in the playing tournament, Miami Heat, where you don't want to be by any means. And you're playing and you're losing to a Joel and Beatless 76ers who've been playing like garbage since a beat has been out. And I don't care that the Heat were missing Jimmy Butler. I don't care that they're missing Tyler Hero, Nikola Jovic, and Kevin Love. I don't care because they look like an incompetent basketball team today. Let, let's get into some of these uh th this box score here because. Everybody today pissed me off except Bam and Abao. Uh, we'll, we'll start with Bam because I want to uh, get a little positivity in here. That boy was hooping. I mean, I used to pray for times like this. Bam and Abao, two for two from the three-point line tonight. The man finished with 20 points, 13 rebounds, six assists, was cooking from everywhere. The man has some tough fadeaways today. Obviously, the two three-pointers, one in the corner, which is something we haven't seen before, and then another wide open one top the key. Of course, Bam is five of five from three in the last four games now, I believe. Uh, and he had a couple of nasty passes too, an outlet to Terry Rozier, and then the sensational one to Duncan Robinson. You know, if Nikola Jovic made a pass like that, and for my audio-only listeners, make sure you check me out on YouTube. I'll be showing these clips. Uh, if Nikola Jokic made a pass like that, he would have broke Twitter. But yet, people still sleeping on Bam and Abao. I don't get it. He still slept on one of the best passing big men in the entire league, probably right behind Jokic and Sabonis. But uh, amazing pass today. He was sensational all over the place. Started the game like 7 for 7. Uh, a little quiet in that second half, uh, but... 
well they, they kind of went on a run without him uh in that fourth quarter so i think spoke kept him out a little longer than i wish he would uh but i suppose thomas bryant was fine today as well that boy finally hit a three although he needs to stop shooting it was the ugliest three i ever seen he got it to bounce in though uh but thomas bryant tonight did finish with 11 points uh on four and nine shooting so whatever the man was a plus 12 in 11 minutes uh if you care about or 16 minutes excuse me if you care about that sort of thing uh but that's pretty much all i gotta say as far as, as far as the positives uh hayward heisman no hayward heisman was was better today after going like one for six yesterday uh he was four seven today 11 points uh and maxi got hot early on uh but then we started seeing a lot of caleb uh, hayward and even some delon rights uh and defensively i do like what all of those guys provided so although i'm about to trash the rest of those guys i do want to say that caleb and delon they were very good on the defensive end uh because once they started going on maxi that's when we saw maxi slow down because maxi had like 17 in the first uh and only one point in the second quarter uh and was relatively quiet for a lot of that third quarter too uh when he did have those guys on him uh they got the standings up here i guess we could take a look real quick uh philly jumped up to six uh and miami is still a game back of six so they're a game back of philly uh, and i do believe they play philly one more time later this season so it's and i think the heat are actually down in the season series so we'll be tied in the season series if we win the next one uh, regardless just an overall disappointing game from everyone uh going back to the box score here uh jame Hawkes, nine points nine rebounds four assists three for 12 dog water that's what he was tonight and it's really the first game by Hame where I think I've said that about him. He's obviously had a lot of quiet games, especially since coming back with the groin injury. But I don't feel like he's ever been bad. And today, he really wasn't bad. He was god-awful. That's what Hame Hawkins was tonight. 3-13, he was missing all kinds of shots you never expect him to miss. Settling for shots you never expect him to settle for. Because that's the guy who likes to get to his spots. But today, he settled a lot. Very disappointed how Mayakas had a had a chance to shoot a fadeaway for the, the lead late and settled over Kyle Lowry. Didn't even try to back him down. Just just a pitiful performance uh, by how Mayakas. Again, if you're new to the channel, I'm not a hater. I love those guys. I love everyone on the team, and I love this team. But tonight they were awful, and I'm not afraid to criticize them. There's a lot of channels and content creators out here who who either always hate or always love the guys and they, they try to fit an agenda. That's not what I try to do over here, right? I have my opinions. You know, I like these guys. I like some guys more than others. Uh, and I do think this Heat team can get back to the finals, right? But that doesn't mean that I'm going to sit here after every bad loss and say, oh, don't worry. It's just a bad game. They're going to be better next time. No, because I think that's garbage. And I think the content creators that do that are garbage. Let me not say they're garbage. There's, there's people that prefer that sort of uplifting stuff after games that's not me i just like to call it how i see it you know while still acknowledging that it's just a one game of 82 and doesn't necessarily change my opinion on them but again i'm here to react to the game that's what we saw tonight specifically uh duncan robinson though he only played 24 minutes he was one of five he wasn't great uh but they did reveal he had some back discomfort and actually ended up missing i think almost the entire second half uh, so hopefully everything is okay with duncan because he obviously was very good last game which was yesterday uh and terry was there tonight i thought he was absolutely one of the worst players i seen out there on the court tonight uh before that fourth quarter he was awful could not hit anything and it was very frustrating because i'm looking at the guy we traded from kyle lowry hitting all his threes and terry was there his shot selection is continues to be very frustrating uh and in, in the past we weren't as mad because he had a lot of assists. For example, yesterday he was 8 for 20 with 9 assists and 0 turnovers. Well, today, Terry was there was 8 for 21 with 1 assist and 3 turnovers. So today, he had a Tyler Hero-esque performance. Not to throw the random shade to Tyler Hero. Maybe that wasn't deserved, uh, but he was awful today. Uh, did get very hot in that, that uh, fourth quarter to put a little bit of lipstick on the pig, uh, but there's no two ways about it. He was awful. He was very, very bad today, uh, and that's disappointing. Uh, I already said the same about Caleb Martin. I thought he sucked tonight. Uh, DeLon Wright got 15 minutes. Love what I saw defensively, uh, but he was over for four uh, and he did leave the game in the first half we don't know what happened but he came back in the second half uh, so we'll assume everything's all right and i was curious to see what his run would be like compared to patty mills because yesterday we saw about 10 minutes from patty 20 from delon today was a bit opposite today delon got 15 minutes uh, to patty mills 21 uh, and patty mills was one for six so i thought he was pretty awful as well uh so yeah literally pretty much everybody tonight sucked except bam and about and thomas bryant that was the story of the game and it was very frustrating because they just get your hopes up in that fourth quarter with that monster run all the way to tie it all the way just to get it tied and they can never take the lead 
And somehow, every possession it comes to take the lead, they settle for a terrible, terrible shot. But when it's the time for Philly to get a big possession, oh, look, somebody's wide open. Oh, look, they're getting a wide open Kelly Oubre cut into the basket. You the Miami Heat. You the team that's been to the Eastern Conference Finals all these times, the NBA Finals twice. You're supposed to be the team that that's, has the experience to be great in these late game situations. And they continue to not be. And it's very frustrating. Uh, anyways, I think that's pretty much all I got to say about this game specifically. Uh, I do want to note that I'm actually going to Cleveland tomorrow. The plane leaves in probably like about 12 hours now. So, uh, And coincidentally, the Heat play the Cavaliers next on Wednesday. I got tickets to the game. I wasted my good money to see this terrible team. So I'll be at the game. Maybe I'll fill some content uh, and get a vlog out eventually. Uh, probably not during the trip, though. I'm only going for a week. So uh, you won't see me for the next couple games, most likely. Uh, but just know I'll be watching and I'll talk to y'all as soon as I get back. But most importantly, please like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe because it helps the algorithm show this to everyone. And we on the grind to 3,700 subs. Shout out to my boy Erwin. I know he's always in the comments keeping track for me and I do appreciate it. Uh, but I do appreciate all of y'all. Uh, anyways. I'm gonna go upload this and get some rest. I got a flight to catch. I'll see ya. Look, pull up in your city, trying to get that dead fast. Like, do it on my own, I don't need no dead weight. Like, had to kill him off, yeah, I need a headspace. You know this homegrown bitch don't offend me. Hmm.